What is the first thing or place that comes to your mind when you hear the word unknown? Well, I suppose it may be the Mariana Trench's depths, or it could be what's inside the Pharaoh's tomb. But have you thought about the Amazon rainforest? The Amazon rainforest is so huge and it is known by almost everyone on the planet. It may be the ideal subject when talking about the unknown, since many of its parts are still unexplored today. I conducted a study to see what might be hidden in the depths of this massive rainforest, and I must say that what I've got surprised me. I know that you're now getting curious, so let's get started. Let's talk about this river, and to do so, I'll need to go over some geography so you know what I'm talking about. The Amazon River is regarded as the world's largest river. The rainforest covers the majority of its basin, which covers around 5.5 million square kilometers, or about 2,124,000 square miles. It's comparable to more than the combined area of the three countries of Spain, France, and Germany to get an idea of its vastness. With this in mind, it would be hard to completely explore such an enormous area. You probably can't see anything from above this jungle, and that's because the leaves of every tree seem to be compact and big as well. And deep in the jungle, many secrets are kept. It's not that you can easily find those secrets, and in most cases, it's really impossible to reach its depth. I want you to forget about Egyptian pyramids and other places you associate with the unknown right now, because the secrets in the Amazon have living witnesses. Who are these witnesses I'm talking about? These are tribal groups that are far from the modern civilization. We know very little about these tribes, which makes it difficult to believe their existence. To be honest, I wasn't sure about them at first either. One of the largest indigenous territories in Brazil, the Vale do Javari, had the least amount of research done on it. Although it covers a larger area than Austria, it is only occupied by 3,000 Brazilian indigenous people. Some of them knew the world outside their territory, yet there are also some of them who have never been met by anyone and so-called uncontacted people. They don't know modern culture. They do things on their own, and their progress on their own. Additionally, there isn't enough information you can find on them. There are now just a few such tribes left, and some of the remaining tribes choose to live in the Amazon rainforest. In the Vale do Javari territory, there are around 2,000 people who live there permanently. These people are a part of at least 14 indigenous tribes. People who are not members of those tribes rarely visit their territory. But this is not because they are afraid of them, but rather because the tribe is protected by Brazilian authorities, who ensure that the tribes are not harmed by the modern world. It turns out that exposing these tribes to modern methods and mankind can have negative consequences for them, simply because we can't teach them harmful lessons. For example, because they lived in isolation for ages, their bodies are not immune to the diseases we are familiar with, and it may be difficult for them to adjust to such diseases. Even common measles or rubella have the potential to spread like an epidemic. Interaction with the outside world turns out to be a serious threat to their survival. Scientists, on the other hand, continue to dream about getting near these uncontacted people so they can study their culture and everything that makes them who they are. But what I'm going to point out about them is the possibility of them knowing what's hidden in the depth of the rainforest. I'm not overreacting. There are just too many mysteries hidden in the Amazon jungle. Scientists believe remnants of an ancient civilization lay in the depths of the Amazon. It is a civilization that scientists have never had the opportunity to study. However, its existence isn't just a myth. Since archaeologists discovered a unique area in the Amazon southwestern region in 2018, in that area, there were around 81 traces of ancient towns discovered there, including canals, ditches, and other constructions. There was even a relic of what appeared to be an entire city, or perhaps even a whole state, buried in the Amazon's depths for hundreds of years. And no one, not even the locals, had any idea that such a gem existed. 
According to scientists' estimation, the settlement is thought to have existed between 1250 and 1500 AD. Scientists are certain that what they have discovered are the ruins of an ancient civilization and that the traces indicate that there were about a million people who used to live there. However, they still don't know who these people could be. When I say remnants, I'm not referring to the few constructions discovered in the forest, but to what archaeologists have discovered. There were hundreds of structures that appear to have been built by humans. They believe that the people who lived there were most likely farmers and are well-versed in the art of exquisite pottery. But this is just a small piece of information. What you'll discover as we continue is even more incredible. The discovery of remnants of an ancient civilization, according to Colorado State University archaeologist Christopher Fisher, has altered our perception of civilization in tropical areas. Many sections of North and South America that we think of as untouched forests may actually be hiding abandoned farmland and ancient gardens. Fisher added that the evidence of old civilization showed that people who lived there knew more about the land than we do. Moreover, what they found in 2018 is followed by another surprising discovery. Scientists discovered multiple geoglyphs drawings on the ground while examining an area where trees used to grow. In the modern areas of Brazil and Bolivia, about 450 geoglyphs were discovered. These are massive geometric shapes that resemble ditches and embankments. The earliest geoglyphs are said to have been created between 3000 and 3500 years ago. Scientists, on the other hand, have no idea why they drew such. They assumed the geoglyphs were used to mark their gathering spot for performing rituals or deliberating crucial issues. Sadly, no one knows anything about the Amazon's ancient inhabitants. If our wildest assumptions are correct, there may have been a spot in the Amazon where you could observe outer space or even communicate with extraterrestrial civilizations back then. Anything could be done with the aim to hide information, and when those enormous leaves of the forest can no longer hide it, fire can be of assistance. As we all know, Fires keep on happening in the Amazon rainforest. It began in August 2019, and oddly, it occurred in difficult-to-reach locations. More than 70,000 flare-ups were documented in total. The size of the fires increases every year, yet the cause of the fires stays the same, and it's the people that are said to have set fire in order to clear it for development. But what about those fires that occurred in difficult-to-reach places? Who could set fire to it? That's very, very suspicious. Let's not forget that the Amazon is rich in a diverse range of animals and plants. There are at least 40,000 plant species, over 2,000 fish species, 1,294 bird species, and 427 mammal species. Have you ever wondered why these species are found here and not elsewhere? This is linked to one of the rainforest theories, which states that there was once a sea where the rainforest is located now. In addition, according to a study published by Science Advances, the Amazon rainforest flooded twice, once in the early Miocene for 200 years and again in the middle Miocene for 400,000 years. Unusual discoveries have backed up this theory. One of those is the discovery of shark's teeth in Colombia. And since we're talking about mysteries concealed somewhere in this jungle, I couldn't stop thinking about El Dorado, the mythical city-state. This place is said to have a lot of gold and precious stones that anyone who finds it could become extremely wealthy. El Dorado's history, on the other hand, is difficult to trace. Perhaps the legend began with a Chibcha tribe ritual. The tribe's chief was covered in clay and sprinkled with golden sand until he transformed into El Dorado, the Golden Man. According to one of the tribe's traditions, one golden man eventually gave birth to the idea of an entire golden city. The researchers in Europe were overjoyed by the ideas, so they tried to find this place for two centuries and some even claim to have found it. There are even maps and tales that are regularly updated with new information. However, no one could tell where El Dorado is actually located, so it became a metaphor, a nickname for any place where a person could become extremely rich. 
However, it's possible that El Dorado is just somewhere else. It is just that all of the researchers were looking in the wrong spot. I may seem overly optimistic, but remember that a huge area of the Amazon jungle has not been explored yet. Who knows what lies in the Amazon rainforest depths? Perhaps El Dorado is actually out there, waiting to be discovered. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when new videos are posted. And as always, thanks for watching.